going on guys? Welcome back to the Dress Talk Smith channel. Hope you all enjoyed that sweet little edit right there at the beginning of this Surge Stunts stunt rack with the 12 bar. So this is the full 12 bar kit. So if you're on the fence about where to buy a stunt rack or stunt bar, 12 bar, whatever you want to call it for your Suron, this is the full 12 bar kit from Surge Stunts. So we have already had this thing powder coated. So it's a three piece design. So you have your full subframe right here which is, I want to say like 50% stronger than the factory or something like that. Crazy a lot stronger than the factory. And then you've got your bracket that your pegs mount to, and then you've got your 12 bar. Gotcha. 12 bar. So you can put your foot right there, put your titanium scraper right there for it to drag the ground, throw Ooh, some sparks. Throw some sparks. Hey, listen, boys. Charles is down bad. So Charles, uh, last time we was riding at the track, he wrecked his sir on and he dislocated his shoulder and had an AC separation, which is like a muscle or something up there. Prayers for Charles in the comments down below. He's down bad. Flip the throttle to the left hand so I can still cruise around town. Because maybe you can get some third person footage of us. Maybe that maybe this rip is the 12 the bar for kit. me to learn how to do one handed wheelies. Oh, because I, I was going zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we had everything sandblasted and repowder coated. It also does come with some grip tape on these pads right here. We'll have to put some new grip tape on there because that got removed before the powder coating process. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and assemble this full thing off the bike and show you guys just what this monstrosity of a sweet 12 bar looks like. And then we're going to put it on the bike. Are you filming, man? Yep. All right guys, so we've got the stunt like 12 bar part assembled and then that'll just have to go into the subframe after we swap the subframe off. To my knowledge, we can do that whenever the bike is completely together. So right now we're gonna go ahead and remove the seat and then the factory subframe, swap over all this like walking mechanism stuff. So then once we get the subframe swapped back over uh, to the surge stunts one, then we'll put the 12 bar on. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull this factory subframe off and we're gonna weigh them because I do want to let you guys know what the weight difference is for anybody that like jumps or cares about weight. Um, obviously with the 12 wrap, it's a lot heavier, but I wanna compare just subframe to subframe. And they also make a moto subframe that's a little bit lighter that doesn't have like the 12 rack uh, add-on. We're gonna go ahead and pull these seat bolts out and throw this new subframe on. So we got the stock subframe going on, coming in at two pound, eight ounces. We're gonna go ahead and set the Big Surge Stunt subframe on here. She's coming in at five pound, nine ounces. We're also gonna remove this bracket right here that your locking mechanism was held on by. And then the new subframe has studs. All right guys, so we're charging up the big chai battery and we just now swapped a new linkage on Charles's bike, the guy that's injured. Um, and he's gonna attempt to ride the Suron in the sling. Kind of a stupid idea, but we're gonna take the throttle, okay? And we're gonna swap it over to the left side. But he thinks that he can swing it and we're gonna cruise around town, I think it'll try be to get some footage for you. We're gonna throw the GoPro on his helmet so he'll be videoing us from riding the wrong. I think pushing the throttle forward will be better because I'm only gonna be holding on with one hand so if I get jerked and I, so I don't whiskey throttle because if I pull the throttle yeah, backwards- Yeah, see, see if it was actually power. going backwards and he whiskey throttled, that would be bad. Yeah. But if it's going forward- yeah. I gotta push it forward so if I get jerked It's back, like an anti-whiskey system. But we're just, I'm just going to film, so. Yeah, so we're gonna try to get, last night I did test it guys, I can't lie to you. Oh, I saw sparks. And I did actually scrape one time. He's lying. 
He did that with an angle grinder before the video. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get this thing charged up, swap this auto over, and then we'll switch over to GoPro. Yeah. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? Put the wire on top? Just getting, getting a little self clearance here on the neural. Oh, she's snappy. She's snappy. God. All right guys, so huge shout out to Charles. Any content that y'all see in the video is from the big one-armed left-handed throttle. Forward throttle, swapped it over. Huh? We're gonna get the clips. We're gonna get some 12 o'clock dragging. Yes, sir, let's swap. All right, guys. We're following Justin here. I'm one. I'm one armed. I don't know how close they can be, but all right, guys, we're gonna get some third-person point of view. Let's try to drag. Let's get a drag in. Oh god. All right, so the twist in the throttle forward and pulling the brake is a little weird, <laughs> but I think we'll be all right. Oh, getting it, getting the foot up there. All right, let's see if we can do a little catch up here. Uh-oh, he's stunting on him, literally. All right, smooth turn, oh. We got up in a wheelie. Oh! Basically day one with the stunt rack. We, he played around with it last night a little bit. So, you know, he's gotta get used to it. You know, circle wheelies don't really involve the stunt rack, so I don't know why we're out here doing that in a stunt rack video, but it's none of my business. I got metal detecting at the playground. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm gonna have to stop first. <laughs> We're going on attempt number one of the drag. Oh, so close. Oh! Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drag number three of the video. Oh, yes. Hey. Yeah, it's gonna take some comp. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take some confidence on just throwing it back there. Yeah. Wild wow, Dragon? Hmm. All right, I think he's wanting to try the trick pegs now. Yeah, he's up on the trick pegs. Oh. Apparently the trick pigs are tricky. Okay. It probably makes the the it's center. The further back. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. More comfortable. Well, yeah, because the further back. you're back, the the lower your weight is, yeah. so it's not moving it weird. Can we get a little scrape? Oh, a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> Nasty with it. Metal Militia hoodie. The Fox V3 RS. The 100%. Shout out Nike. Shout out Chai Bag. Oh, absolutely just cream pod the tire. Surge Stunts Rack. Gut Seat. Fast Ace Forks, Fast Ace Rear Shock coming soon. 
Warp non linkage and triangle. Prickly pegs. The second linkage. <laughs> Warp non direct mount. Hope Tech V4. Hey, hey, we're giving a rundown. No, I'm gonna have a full bike review video. Dude, whatever. <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful shot. God, this is cinematic. Absolute menace to society. The subscribers didn't, they're, they're getting content they didn't know they wanted, but that they deserve right now. Your YouTube fan base has literally grown up with you. Guys, this is also a road in Mexico. I know it's kind of weird, you know, like, man, why does Mexico have trees with no leaves? But, just don't ask questions. No, dude, you gotta get you gotta get some stunt rack jump in the stunt rack video. Unless you want to go do the road gap, I can go video dude in the road gap. Oh my God! Did it? The tire hit the stunt rack? Oh, uh, do it again! Oh, he's gonna wheelie into it. Oh, he's going to hit us with a combo? Okay. All right, let's go hit the road gap. Oh, hell no. Whoa. All right, guys. So that pretty much concludes our rod video of riding with the Surge Stunt 12 bar for the first time. Um, let's just say after trying this thing out for the first time ever, mad respect not that i didn't have it already but for nico and everyone that uses these i thought i was like finally getting pretty good at wheeling and i'm still trash just like i thought but at the same time i was like okay i was like i'm getting the hang of it but if you get one of these it's going to take a lot of time a lot of practice but sooner or later you will get there to sum up the video, pretty much the only thing that I didn't like about the Surge Stunts 12 rack was the carriage bolts that bolted it to the actual subframe are a hair on the short side. So I wish that those bolts were a little bit longer, but obviously you've seen me, 210 pounds, six foot tall, scraping with it. So this thing has handled all of the stress and pressure that I've put it through, 10 out of 10. If there's anything specific, questions or concerns, Drop them in the comments below. Always remember, everybody starts out as a nobody, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.